the latest episode in a titanic legal battle. In March, the Supreme Court of Appeal ruled that the MPA must hand over the transcripts of the tapes that led to corruption charges being quashed against President Jacob Zuma. But the MPA says it can't pass on the recordings. We owe a duty of confidentiality to Mr Zuma's legal team because that is the basis on which the representations were made and that is acknowledged in the SCA judgment and order. When it dropped the charges, the MPA entered into a confidentiality agreement with President Jacob Zuma. The agreement was that representations made by Zuma would remain private. As such, the president's legal team argues the tapes should never be released. It was fully part and parcel of the representations. How did it become something else? But the DA argues that as some of the tape's contents are already public, it shouldn't be a problem to release them. There can be no prejudice to any of the parties concerned if this procedure is carried out. On the contrary, the potential prejudice to the administration of justice and the rule of law is far greater. It's been over four years since corruption charges were dropped against President Jacob Zuma, but South Africa will need to wait a few months longer to possibly find out exactly why the MPA decided to do so. Nicholas Bauer, Pretoria. News that moves. ENCA.com.